I'm Gary Strigler, and today I'm working in my shop building a pretty common project. That's an oversized barn door. You know, when people started asking for barn doors, I guess what they didn't realize is they have to be bigger than a standard door to cover the opening. So we've been making quite a few of these recently. So when I first got asked to do this, I thought, well, that would be a pretty simple job until I went out to the job site and measured the opening and it was wider than four foot. So the design on this is still going to be pretty simple. It'll be two pieces of plywood joined together and then glued to another two pieces of plywood to make a two-sided inch and a half thick barn door. And I will alternate the joints so that the joints will be covering each other. It's going to be real important to glue it up on a flat surface. But uh, there's one other thing that's pretty important I want to share in this video. And that is when you're trying to get a really good joint between two pieces of plywood, you have to have a really good clean edge. For this door, I'm going to be making saw curse with a track saw about every four inches. So I'm laying out the joint where I'm joining two pieces of plywood together right on one of those saw curves. But I still need to get a really good, close, flat joint. So what I found out, you know, a piece of plywood, if it's been sitting in your shop, or even if you just got it from the store, really often these interior cores of the plywood will kind of suck up some moisture and they'll actually be sticking out past the veneer surface. It's kind of a convex surface. Even just a little bit of that will keep you from getting a good joint. So what I always tell people, you know, if you possibly can, just get a good fresh cut uh, on your table saw and that'll give you a clean edge. So for the pieces that are going to be joining the, you know, the partial rip, which in this instance is a 12 inch rip, it's going to be added to this. Well, I just cut that on a table saw to get a clean edge. But this 4 8 sheet is a little bit more challenging deal because although I actually have a table saw that I can rip to four foot, it's a little bit rough by myself to really make sure that I keep that nice and straight along the fence and flat and everything if it you know if it tilts just a little bit i'm not going to have that really straight edge so what i did instead is i took a piece of mdf that has a really good flat edge and i clamped using some big bessie c clamps underneath my piece of plywood with the plywood sticking out about a sixteenth of an inch past my piece of mdf then i took this three wing this is a white side half inch uh, collet, a half inch shaft, flush trim router bit, and it makes a really clean cut. So what I was able to do was just run the bearing on the piece of MDF below and I took about a sixteenth of an inch off the whole piece and got a really smooth edge. Now the other thing that I've done is I went ahead and came in three inches and then every six inches down the length of this board I put in a domino in there. Now you could use a biscuit also, but something to help index that joint together and give it some strength. I kind of like the dominoes better than a biscuit because you get a little more projection into the wood each way and so that makes it lay a little bit flatter. But again, a, you know, a biscuit would also work. Anyway, those are the things I'm gonna be doing to join each face of this uh, barn door together. I'm going to try and share some of the other little tricks I'm going to do, like what am I going to do when I get to the edge to cover that, that edge of that plywood. But, so I'm going to try and share those first, but first of all, I wanted to share with you how do you make a really good clean edge when you're joining two pieces of plywood together. Of course, I'm going to clamp it all together with some pipe clamps, probably about every six inches. That's another critical thing. Again, we'll make sure I've got land on a flat spot. A lot of information, but that's what you got to do if you want to get a really good joint when you're joining plywood together. 